I think I've dared to be my true self by just living my life authentically as a woman of color in a society where, you know, it's a lot harder to be that than you think. I think being at Cornell, I've definitely been able to be more of me than I have been in the past. I feel like I try to put on a, put on a front because I don't want to like bother people. But um, in terms of like embracing myself, it's kind of just being comfortable with being like alone, like just being confident in what I do. I've been able to really um, show myself by kind of remembering why I got into the hotel school, what I'm doing here, what I want to achieve, and staying true to those morals. Um, and although, you know, at times you're, you slip up, you change depending on the crowd you're in, you kind of can create a better environment um, and really embrace who you are and hopefully others will do the same. I think for me it's really important to you know, show my mistakes, show my failures, um, and you know, be really open and um, transparent, uh, you know, about everything that's going on in my life, instead of pretending that you know I'm this person that's 100% good all the time. I really try to be as genuine as possible. So, being honest about everything, um, you know, keeping a positive attitude, I think that's really important. It takes courage and deep trust with the people who we are with. And here at the hotel school, I think there's a lot of room for us to grow. When, you're, when you feel afraid and when you're trying to prevent the real you from coming out and really try to think, what's the problem if the real you comes out? I try to be my most authentic self when I can be, but um, obviously there are some times when you know, I'm not, and I think that um, no matter how hard I try, people come to their own conclusions. I try to stand up for other people, even if it somehow puts me in an uncomfortable position. Allowing yourself to be at the risk that people won't like you, um, that you won't get along, and I guess that you'll be alone. Um, but <laughs> I think that if you want to be who you are, like 100%, you're going to have to go through that. So I think it's a necessary step. Most people view the managing director as somebody who has everything together and their life together. And at the end of the day, I'm just another Cornell student. I'm extremely grateful for HEC. I've had the chance to interact with so many different people who I may not have met who are interested in so many different parts of the industry and really have very unique backgrounds. And so through HEC, I've really had a chance to get to know people who I wouldn't have met otherwise. It really allows me to work on my weaknesses and really just showcase my love for hospitality. We really try and make that the entire HEC family feel like a family. HEC has been by far the best choice I've made since coming to the hotel school. And the biggest reason for that is I couldn't have gotten this opportunity anywhere else. Um, and now in the role that I'm in, it's been amazing being able to give that to other people. I'm just so excited that we are highlighting ways that the hospitality industry extends far beyond itself, far beyond the walls of our hotels and restaurants and airplanes and so on. Dare to do means responsibility, bravery, inclusivity. Thought leadership. Confidence. Thought provoking. I dare you to be your true self. I dare you to be your true self. I dare you to be your true self.